Active Strength Index is often regarded as one of the most useful indicators in technical analysis. It is a momentum indicator that calculates the magnitude of change in the recent price. The value of the RSI moves between 0 and 100. When the RSI is above 70, the market is said to be in an overbought condition. Similarly, when the RSI is below 30, it is said to be in an oversold condition. The general rules of trading the RSI are Sell when the market is overbought And buy when the market is oversold This is a very inappropriate way of trading. The reason is that, in a strong uptrend, the market can stay overbought for long periods of time. Similarly in a strong downtrend, the market can stay oversold for long periods of time. Look at this chart. At this point, we see the market is overbought. Had we sold here, we would have incurred a loss, because the market stayed overbought for a long time. Hence, this strategy does not work very well in a trending market. In this video, I am going to be sharing three different strategies using the RSI indicator. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel as we share new and effective strategies every week to help you achieve high returns. With that being said, let's get into the strategies. Strategy number one. Use RSI with moving average. Simply buying at oversold levels and selling at overbought levels cannot be profitable. But we can add more filters to this and develop a good trading strategy. For example, let us use a simple 200 period moving average. This will help us in identifying the trend of the market. If the price is above the moving average, then it will be considered to be in an uptrend. Similarly, if the price is below the 200 periods moving average, then it will be considered to be in a downtrend. Hence, when the price is above the moving average, we will look for buy setups only. We will buy when the RSI is oversold. In other words, we will buy when the RSI is below 30. Here is an example. Here we have the Apple stock on a daily time frame. The first thing we will look at is the moving average. The price is above the moving average. Hence, we will only be looking to buy. To buy the stock we will look for areas of an oversold market. This means we will look for areas where the RSI is below or near the 30 level. On this chart we have two buying opportunities. Here the price barely touches the 30 level and quickly reverses. Had we bought the stock at these points, we would have generated good profits. Whenever we enter such trades, we can keep our stop loss below the recent swing low and keep our target at the near swing highs. Let's now take a look at a sell trade. Here we can clearly see that the stock is trading below the 200 period moving average. We see that the price comes near the 70 level on the RSI. At this level, the price starts to consolidate for two to three candles. This indicates an imminent change of direction. So we take a sell trade here. We keep our stop loss above this swing high and place our target at the previous swing low. Another way of using the RSI is for trading divergences. A bearish divergence occurs when the price makes a higher high, but at the same time, the RSI makes a lower high. Similarly, a bullish divergence occurs when the price makes a lower low, but the RSI makes a higher low. Divergences can be a very strong sign of reversal, but we need confirmation. Divergences alone are useless. There can be many fake divergences. For example, in this chart we can clearly see that the price has made a lower low, but the RSI made a higher low. This is a bullish divergence. Many people might have bought here, but after a little pause, the prices continue to sell off. So, how do we avoid getting trapped in these trades? 
The secret to avoiding these fake divergences is to wait for the break of trend lines. Let us understand this concept by an example. Here is the AMD stock on a 30-minute time frame. Here we can see the price is gradually making higher highs. The RSI on the other hand is making lower highs. Hence, there is a clear and visible divergence in the RSI. But we will not go short here. Not yet. Instead, we will create a short-term trend line. We will do this by connecting the recent swing lows. Here is how the trend line will look. After creating the short-term trend line, we will wait for the price to break the trend line. After the price successfully breaks below the trend line, we will place a short entry. As you can see, a sharp sell-off occurred after our entry. Hence our trade would have been profitable. Again, we can keep our stop loss above the recent swing high. And we can take profits at the near swing low. Let us now look at a bullish divergence. Here we have the USD JPY chart on a 5 minute time frame. The price is in a downtrend. It is continuously making lower lows and lower highs. But if we look at the RSI, we can see that the price made a lower low here. But the RSI made a higher low. This indicates a bullish divergence. Now, we need to plot a short-term trend line and wait for its break. As the price breaks the trend line here, we can enter in a buy position. As you can see, after the trend line break, the price rallied upwards. The third way of trading the RSI is by using it with support and resistance. Our goal here is to look for strong areas of support or resistance that coincide with the RSI. Here is an example of the Facebook stock on a 30-minute chart. Now, here the RSI hit the overbought zone. At the same time, we can see that the stock is trading at a price that has acted as a resistance level before. This level has also acted as a support here. A short trade here would have resulted in a profit. Let us now take a look at another example. Here we have the Microsoft stock on a 30-minute chart. The RSI here goes into the oversold area. Meanwhile, the price of the stock is at a very important level. This area has previously acted as a support level. This means the overbought reading on the RSI coincides with a strong support level. Hence, there is a high probability of the price moving up after the test of the support. And that is what happened here. The strategies shared in this video do not work all the time. You will come across losing trades. But the goal is to achieve profitable returns in the end. If you like the strategies, then be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel as we will share new strategies every week. See you soon.